So if you guys want to install third party apps on your Phantom 4 Plus controller, this is how to do it. I have been on YouTube, I have been on every form site possible, and nothing works. This is the only method that has ever worked for me. Um, I've installed, um, I installed Drone Deploy on the, using this, I've installed Litchi, uh, Pix4D, just about everything, it works. I haven't tried Google services yet, I'll test that later, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, it's really easy, it doesn't take that long. So what you want to do, go in the description below, download the uh, the link that I have there, uh, take you to uh, download this platform tools folder, uh, right click it, click extract to, and here it is. Now, we're going to rename this folder to ADB, and then what you want to do is drag that to your desktop, you can delete this old folder, and here we have this folder. So I'm going to make it easier to access through command prompt. So we're gonna I'm gonna put it in my C, which is right here. I'm just gonna drag it in there. Oh, I already have it in there. Here, I'm gonna delete delete the existing one. Okay, we'll put it in your C drive. Now go down to here, type run, and then type CMD, hit enter, and command prompt will show up. Now if you go in the description, copy and paste this uh this directory right here and then hit enter enter and then it'll say it'll say this next what you want to do go in the description and this command put this command in so before you hit enter don't hit enter yet open up ADB and go and download the APK you want to install so here are my APKs let's install PIX4D so if I want to install this you want to put it in this ADB folder. So drag your APK into the ADB folder that we put in local disk. And then once you've done that, don't hit enter yet. So this right here is going to be what we put in the ADB folder. So the name of my APK is just PIX4D. So what you want to do is literally just put pix4d.apk like that. So I'm gonna switch to my camera now. Sync the audio. All right. So to get this right, what you have to do when you turn on the controller, once you hear your computer, the dent 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 dent, when it connects to the controller, you wanna hit enter on this line. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to demonstrate that now. Turn on the controller. Once I hear the computer connect to the connect to the controller, then it'll work. So got to wait. There we go. As you can see, it's installing and the controller is turning on. Okay, so on the screen it's a success. So if we go into settings, all applications. Oh. Pix40. There it is right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it says it right there. So you can basically install anything you want, really. As you can see, I have an easy file installed on here. I can manage my storage, stuff like that. So this app does work really nice. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll show you guys that it works. So let's enter device. Whoops. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let's focus it. Okay. Pix4D. So it does open up. That's a good sign. I don't have an account yet, but I'm just showing you guys it does work. Um, I'll have to get an account, but 
it does work this is the only method you can get to download stuff as you can see I have easy file so I can file manager install too alright well um, I'll see you guys in the next video stay tuned and see you guys later